Clock Express 2024 for Mac and Windows brings a slew of new features to improve productivity, extend capability, and most of all, inspire great design. I'm going to focus on four of them. Fonts are the designer's biggest headache. In Quark Express 2024, we get a new visual font management system, but there's more to it. So much more that this is one of the most powerful but simple systems to choose fonts on the market today. The new font manager panel instantly shows you all the fonts installed on your system. But it does far more than that. Select language and you remove all the fonts that don't give you the characters you need. If you're working on a multilingual publishing project, this can save you hours. Quark introduced its own font management a couple of versions back. You can now see which fonts have been loaded with the document. This isn't the same as fonts used in the document, which was already a feature. This is useful and appealing, but it isn't even half of what the new system does. Click again and you get the classification, serif, sans serif, and so on. For this, Quark is relying on the font maker to have included this information. Some older fonts and most homemade fonts won't have this, but you can check with undefined. But the true beauty of the system is when you use other panos attributes such as X height, weight and width and contrast. Let's say I have a high X height book font and I need a contrasting font in a heavy weight. Within the fonts I have installed, I now know what my choices are. Here's a great secret. If you want fonts not to clash, keep to the same X height and stick to the same width. You can break this rule if you know it, but most people don't know it, which is why most font choices, even sometimes by experienced designers, look amateurish. Quark just gave you the power to mix and match. But here's another problem. Often the client has chosen the fonts already and they haven't bought them from Monotype. They've got them from Google Fonts. Time was when using a Google font would have mocked you as a hobbyist. Those days are gone. Google has billions to invest, and it's making sure that every font it releases is commercial quality, but free. Clients love this. No problem, because Quark's font panel now allows you to look at all the Google fonts and download and install them on the fly. Does this trouble you? It shouldn't. When I was a branding consultant, my biggest headache was finding fonts that spoke for the brand that the client will put on every desktop. No client is willing to pay the license the latest offering from Adobe or Linotype for every user. So if you want consistent brand usage, there's really only one worthwhile source. And here it is, Quark. By limiting your corporate identity to Google Fonts, you guarantee that the entire enterprise can present the same face to the world. My favourite new feature in Quark Express 2024 is the ability to work with local image libraries. Quark introduced the stock libraries a couple of versions ago, giving immediate access to Pexels and Unsplash. It now does the same thing for local libraries. I maintain an image database of about 100,000 images using NeoFinder. You can also use Digicam and other alternatives, but I don't want to add a client's images to my database, and I don't want to have to update a whole catalogue for one job, especially if the images will be moved later. Using the stock images panel, I can quickly catalogue a folder, favourite group, and drag onto my document. It's not just for a few images. I've been experimenting with AI and I create thousands of similar images looking for the right one. Here, Quark Express has catalogued 17,000 images, making them instantly keyword searchable. The favorites feature makes it easy to come back to the ones I like. There are lots of other applications which can do this and you can still use them, but Quark's solution is the quickest and most elegant when you're working on a layout. This isn't all they've done in this release. You now get access to new image formats like HEIC, so you can pull the pictures from your iPhone and catalog them straight away. There's also a new picture link palette, which gives you a live table of the path, status, effective PPI, and page location of each image, as well as more information in a panel. I love these new features because they are visually inspiring. The most sought-after new feature in Quark Express 2024 is grip. 
If you've been demanding it, you already know what it is and what it's for. But if not, you may be asking, what is GREP? A new feature in the Find and Replace, GREP stands for Global Regular Expression Search and Print. You can forget that now, it's not important. GREP is the geekiest feature you will ever find in a design package, but it's extremely useful if you treat it carefully. Essentially, GREP allows you to put wildcard characters in so that you can find and replace only parts of text. But wait, you say, I could already do that. You're right, and you could. In fact, most users using Quark built-in features will be better because they're easier and they allow you to work with character attributes. This means you can, say, replace every italic open bracket with an italic curly bracket. But GREP works differently and with care will allow you to transform a whole document. Before using it, download a cheat sheet and work through some examples. Here's one. Here I'm removing the footnote markers from an edition of Francis Bacon's Novum Organum that I got from an online source, a new edition of an old text. To do so, I entered the grep wildcards I got from the cheat sheet so that I'm replacing every number between the square brackets. It will leave text between square brackets intact, an important refinement if I'm doing it for an entire book. GREP has all kinds of ways of separating letters, numbers, ranges, and even text which doesn't match a particular pattern. This is a powerful feature. For the times you need it, it can save you hours. But be careful, with great power comes great responsibility. Quark Express can take any PDF document and turn it into an editable layout, but most other applications can't do this. So, how do you work with colleagues who do DTP, but not with Quark? In Quark Express 2024, IDML export is now available. Originally for Adobe's InDesign, which is part of the subscription-only Adobe CC bundle, IDML is becoming a standard for communication between users of different packages. Using IDML export, you can create documents for DTP colleagues and also for the hundreds of thousands of bundle users who have access to software that reads IDML. This includes InDesign, iBooks Author, Scribus, Viva Designer, Affinity Publisher, and many online platforms. You can also do this as a round trip, send someone a document as IDML and bring it back into Quark later. Two words of caution. First, you will need the Java library to do this. You can download it from Oracle. You only have to do this once and it's completely safe. Second, no export or import process is perfect, so check your document. If sending to a client, send a PDF as well. One more thing on this. Export IDML will also allow you to export for users of earlier Quark versions who haven't upgraded. The usual caveat supply, but it means that colleagues on older machines will now be able to collaborate with you even if they don't have the latest Quark software.